Welcome to Appointee Tutorials. Once you have finished the initial setup, you would be routed to this screen. This is the MySpace screen. It would be the first screen that you would see whenever you log back into the account. On the left side, you would see all of these icons which you can circle through for different features like marketing, settings, reports, etc. Now on the screen, on the top right corner, you would see this bell icon. If you click on that, it will let you know any new appointments that have been booked. You can click on any one of these appointments to see the appointment details. Furthermore, you can cancel or reschedule the appointments from here, add appointment notes and see the history of the appointment. Now on the top right, you would also see that you have an agenda view which lets you know how many appointments you have for today. If you want to change the date, you just click on today or on the date and the calendar would pull up. Any date that has a blue dot below it means that you have an appointment on that day. Once I click on that appointment, it will show me the appointment on the 1st of October. I can then click on details to see the appointment details again. Now let's X out of it. There is also a filter option that lets you filter the appointments. You have different types of appointments which are paid, unpaid, approved, unapproved and so on. Then you also have the arrival status, staff members and services. So you can set any kind of filter and the system would show appointments related to that filter only. Now on the bottom right you would see the chat circle or the icon for the chat. You can click on it and you can initiate a chat with any one of our agents for any support that you require. To the left of that you would see the change background image. Now we do have certain images that you can circle with and change them. That would change the background of the administrative interface. If you want you can also choose a file and upload your own personal image or your business logo if you want. Now the icon to the left of that is the quick start guide. Once you click on that you can see preview the booking portal where you would also see your customer booking link which you can share with your customers so that they can book appointments. You can also click on the integrate on your website button to get the iframe code that you need to copy and paste and integrate a pointy widget on your website. We have different types of widget, a full page widget, an overlay widget and a button widget. All of them have different codes. If you want, you can apply all of these codes on your website and have all three widgets on your website. Just below that, you would see the feature to create parametric URL. These are custom links where you pre-select the category or the service or the staff member and generate a special link that you can send to the customers. When the customers click on that link, the service or the category that you have chosen would be pre-selected and they would just need to choose a time and a date and fill out the details to book the appointment. To generate that, you would need to select a category first, then select a service if you want, you can select a staff member. If not, you can just leave it blank. As you can see, the system has already generated a link. When the customers click on that, the system would automatically pre-select the category and the service for them. If you want to create a new link, just click on Reset and Start Over. To close this page, just click on the X icon on the top right corner, then scroll way down and click on OK, got it. So that's it about the MySpace screen. Next tab will be the calendar tab.